What's up, Browns fans? Nathan Zagura here for the Two Minute Drill, brought to you by University Hospitals. Today was the third consecutive padded practice for your Cleveland Browns, and the day again belonged to the defense. The Browns worked on their red zone installation, and as Austin Hooper told me after on Browns Live, he said, look, this is our first time running these concepts against the defense, but man, this defense gave us great looks, disguised their coverages, and had a great performance. In fact, I would say this was the day of the DBs. Andrew Sandejo probably had the play of the day for the defense, an interception over the middle as Baker Mayfield overshot David Njoku on a seam route. Money, Mitch, he was money today everywhere, getting his hands on the balls. Pass breakups all over the field. Money, Mitch, Kevin Johnson doing it as well. We even saw the rookie Grant Delpit flash in the secondary, especially against the run, getting in the backfield in these goal line periods. As for the linebackers with Mac Wilson out, both Jacob Phillips and Sione Takitaki saw extensive action. Both played well. Takitaki with a couple highlight plays against the run, knifing into the backfield and getting tackles for losses, as well as showing good natural feel in coverage, which is going to be key for the second year player out of BYU. But the offense did have some moments, and I think really the standouts were two rookies. Harrison Bryant continues to set Berea on fire in the seven on seven drills. He had touchdowns on consecutive plays. In fact, climbing the ladder for a great contested catch at the back of the end zone. And Donovan Peoples-Jones, he just looks good. 6'2", 210, he can run. He looks great in pads and looked great catching the ball today. Had a couple of touchdowns, including the only touchdown really for the starters in the red zone period. Racing along the back of the end zone as Baker Mayfield rolled right, beating Greedy Williams for a contested catch, and it was a big play for the young rookie. So the youngsters on offense look good. Again, an excellent day for the defense. They saw passes batted down at the line. They got pressure on the quarterback, and on the back end, they made the plays. But this is good, valuable work for the Browns offense, and we'll see if tomorrow the same pattern holds, that they bounce back after a rougher day and get the advantage in day six out here in Berea. Now, one other note, Odell Beckham Jr. did go to the locker room with trainers late in practice. He walked off under his own power, so keep it tuned to clevelandbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app for updates on the star receiver. This has been the two-minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals.